to day two of the upper body blast. So this is the workout for day two and four. And on these days, we're gonna focus a little more on our arm and shoulders and give our chest and back a break. All right, so the first exercise is going to be bicep curls. So for bicep curls, you can use a heavier weight typically. All right, and start. So we're gonna curl up. We're gonna have our palms facing the ceiling. Remember, we want a slight bend in our knees and you should be, your tummy should be tight. So a slight bend in the knees. We're not letting our stomach hang out. We're nice and tall. Our stomach is in. We do want to try to keep our elbows in about the same place. It will move a little bit, but we don't want to swing. We want to keep that top part of our arm stable. And same thing with this. If your arm gets so tired, you can't do it anymore, switch to one and just alternate, or you can switch to a lighter weight, but keep going. You want those muscles to burn. You want it to feel like you can't do another rep. That is how you make changes in your muscles. All right, three seconds left. And stop. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is an overhead tricep exercise. So this one, you can either use one weight or two weights. So first I'll show you with one weight. All right, so if you're using one weight, you can go up heavier. Now this exercise, you really have to make sure you keep that stomach in. We want our elbows to stay right by our head. We don't want this. Squeeze it in. So you can see my stomach's in, a slight bend in the knees. We're going down to about 90 degrees there. All right, so if you're doing it with two weights, you would just put them together. And same thing, squeeze those elbows in. You will feel it more. And another way to make it a little more challenging, if you don't have heavy weights, is to separate them like that. It really makes you focus more. But you still want to keep the arm in close to your ears. Five seconds left. Okay. All right. And make sure you always breathe during your exercises. Typically the hardest part you should breathe out, but as long as you're inhaling and exhaling, you don't have to focus too much on it. All right, next one is a bent over row. So we can do a heavy weight for this one. And this is gonna work more of our left. Bend our knees, hinge forward, and we're gonna row right up. So same thing with our bent over fly. Our chest and our stomach should almost be sticking out. We don't want to do the rounded. So stick it out. Tummy should be tight. And this is what it should look like from the front. Those hands stay in close to the body. 25 seconds left. And you should keep your head looking straight ahead at the floor. And same thing with this, if you get too tired and you can't do one more, drop one weight. You can alternate arms, go to a lighter weight. But typically with this one, it's a pretty large muscle, so you'll be able to do a heavy weight. And stop. And one other tip, um, if you're putting your weights on the floor, you always want to bend down and up to get up. You really don't want to do this. It will strain your back too much. So try to squat all the way down. Or another way to pick something up is to do one leg like this. So if it's something that's not too heavy, you can do that. The idea is that with both of these, you are keeping your back straight. All right, guys. So take a short rest here and do those exercises one more time. <laughs> 